Hi guys, this is Moonchip and welcome back to Dauntless. It's been a while since I last posted my, uh, well, my last video, my last uh, quest update. Uh, I had a little work accident and I couldn't use my left uh, pinky and as my left pinky is my dodge button, it was kind of hard the last week to actually uh, play the game, so I had to play the game without dodging. You can imagine what, uh, what painfulness that was for me and how many times I died. I did get through a lot though, uh, as we can see in the master system, uh, I got 25 by hunting every behemoth like I said, uh, just with the armor. Uh, I reached shrouds now, which I actually did two times, but I kinda, I just wanted to record today, like it, it, I wanted to finish the quest so long, I had to keep this quest for five days every time I played, I was like, I wanna record the quest, I wanna record the quest, but it, yeah, I, I just couldn't, it was was painful to, to actually record and uh, I had to quit multiple times because it, it just hurt. I burned my fingers. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm back now. Uh, my fingers are a little better. I can use them. Uh, they're not uh, of top shape, time. but yeah, uh, well, let's get into uh, some questing. Oh yeah, and f before I forget, uh, really important, a couple weeks back they said that uh, they would refund or grant a couple of stones uh, like the dull stones and the shiny stones and everything uh, to players who had their gear downgraded and yesterday evening uh, we got this message on Twitter an update so let's play Dauntless an update for slayers who had their gear downgraded in 0.7.1 your upgrade materials arrived tomorrow so this was uh, tweeted yesterday 6, uh, 6 May uh, it's the 7th today so check your inventory after 2 p.m. PT on May the 7th to find your orbs, arc stones and rams so 2 p.m. PT is around, uh, I think it's 11 o'clock in the evening, uh, Brussels time for European players. Uh, so yeah, this evening at 11, I guess you're gonna need to do a little, a little reload to uh, get get your might be a little update where you have to reload a uh, zero downtown update uh, most likely. Uh, so yeah, reload and you will get your arc stones uh, then. Uh, so yeah, well we are gonna continue the questing. So Dauntless map, let's go. Finally. <laughs> Wills, what do you have to say for me? Element of the heroes. So yeah, Hunter Dead Eye, Quill Shot, Bloodfire, Ember Rain, Shock Shock, uh, Shot, uh, Shock Jaw, Naizaga, Craft and Upgrade, any Blaze weapon, so except my good friend Moira tells me you have been hard at work, Slayer, and your resplendent gear shows this to be true. Uh, but Wills would ask that you do more, for even Wills and Moira do not have all the answers when it comes to crafting elemental gear. Neutral, Aether, Simple, Frost Shock, Blaze, those are where things can get complex. We also would like you to refocus your efforts so that we may f uh, truly refine how we work with the elements. First, you must face and slay behemoths of truly heroic power. As you do, you may also find some of the initial components we need to help forge your new gear. Then we shall create weapons and armor sets charged with each of these three elements. Elemental etheric frequencies and then upgrade them to much to be much more powerful and much more And, mo and more power is always good, isn't it? Uh, okay, so I've got a couple huntings uh, to do uh, Map uh, We can do pursuit or patrol evenly um, Daily patrol heroic patrol Ah, we can do Hmm Ah we can do heroic patrol and then maybe we can get these three or we can go on a pacific uh, pursuit. I'm gonna go on a pacific pursuit and uh, just clear them out. Ah, three minutes and four seconds. So close, so close. <laughs> Under three minutes easy. I love it when I can give 40, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> A hammer and an axe with 40% speed, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> they wreck. Oh, so lovely. Alright, so all the uh, specific hunts are done. What do we need to do next? Craft and upgrade any blaze weapon to 9, a frost weapon to 9, shock weapon to 9. So blaze, oh, frost and shock you, weapons. Uh, oh, I could, I could have seen it here as well. Uh, so blaze, 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 Cherok, it's eight, needed to go to nine, right? So yeah, let's do this one then. And we're gonna need shiny arc stones, let's 
quickly it check the like quests this remind the me of heroes. Us, yeah. Please, weapon to nine. Should Keep be... Keeping busy, are we? Should be complete now, right? Crafting? Where is it? Cherik? See? Plus nine. Maybe I need to do it to ten? When it comes to weapons, not really right. sure okay. why that's not cross marked. Anyway, I'm gonna need to do a couple heroic patrols, it seems, to be able to upgrade that frost and shock weapon still. So I'm gonna be going on my first hunts for shiny arc stones in a while. Actually, daily patrols seven hours. Uh, let's do a hunt. So while we wait, um. I've been looking into the mastery system a little bit. Uh, repeaters end at 20, uh, and we still actually have a lot of experience still to do. Uh, we did finish almost all of it. I'm working on the uh, shock barrels, uh, the shock barrel right now, standard barrels done, and it's only the twilight barrel. And then I did all the rest, and right now I'm at the snowdrift prism, and then I have the stoneheart prism left for the experience only. Uh, I'm not really sure why they stopped it at 20. I kind of feel like with everything that can still be accomplished here, especially uh, the end uh, markers are like 40 million damage to behemoths. Uh, so that means 40 million damage with all different types of repeaters. And I can imagine that that's going to be the same for all the weapons as well. So the last marker is 40 million, guys. <laughs> it's a hell of a marker to work to, uh, but eventually uh, probably we'll get it. Yeah, I kind of feel that it could have gone to 25, but uh, maybe I'm wrong in that. So it's only 20. Uh, we have a Behemoth Mastery, we have a Slayer Mastery, we have uh, Weapon Masteries. We don't have an Armor Mastery. That's something I kind of missing in here. And then also, if we look at the upgrades we can do, uh, we know that everything can be upgraded to level 15. So I don't really understand why there's not upgrade to level 15. And then maybe later on they can add upgrade to level 20 if they even go for higher tiers because now heroic plus should be the uh, uh, more higher tier where you need the uh, level 15 armors actually so as you can see in the top left in hunts uh, everybody is still actually muting himself we have uh, a possibility to talk to one another but we don't have a push to talk so nobody is really interested in leaving an open mic which is understandable an open mic is only annoying to the rest of the group so yeah uh waiting for that push to talk button uh guys right this should do it great so you gotta bring it to uh where it says plus 10 uh, not where it says plus nine uh, when it says plus nine he it's must actually be still level eight uh, so yeah there we go quest completed uh, it was what a drosk armor uh, for the electric armor that he i was missing beware. Elemental heroism is this good friend slayer I see before me or some mystical figure of legend perhaps both most impressive and very educational for both Moira and Wills someday our skills and your gear will be the stuff of epic poems and rousing ballads and yeah a whole set list of things uh, to upgrade uh, <laughs> I had to do all of uh, every run to actually get the parts to upgrade it so yeah well, still cannot wait till uh, this evening and the quests have not ended yet we still have a new one so let's check this one out as well uh, I'll try to see if we can get as many quests today done as possible it's, it's only eight here so you. three more hours to wait Okay, speak to Xilia the Far Slayer about a new set of dangerous targets and new Umbral and Radiant gear. Hunt Velomir Heroic, Rift Stalker Heroic, Scorchstone Heroic. Complete one of the following, craft and upgrade a Radiant weapon to plus 8, upgrade an Umbral weapon to plus 8, and then complete one of the following, the Radiant Armor set to plus 8 and Umbral Armor set to plus 8. Except, I don't even know why I'm talking to you, you're not ready for this apprentice. No one is ready for this, but why not? That you lasted this long, so sure. You got some targets for you. Fresh off the skyboard, dark and light, bright and shadowy, with a bit of fire thrown in for good measure. They killed some rams, I know, need payback. Darkness shines, of course, you're probably going to get killed, but if you don't, you can get yourself some umbral gear, radiant too. They're not like regular elements, they're weird, like me. And powerful <laughs> also like me 
But don't need to max out everything that's dumb. But fortune upgrade some umbral and radiant gear. Or you'll never survive the worst of the worst. Trust me, or you don't. Up to you. So you go. Okay, so we've got a whole wash list of uh, things to do. Craft and upgrade. A radiant weapon is the only one I need to do, actually. So that's pretty good. That's got to be a couple couple heroic and uh, normal. Uh, well, the, a couple patrols again. And then Scorch Storm, Rift Stalker, and Velomir. So I'm going to start with those three first. Let's get Patrol, Pursuit, Blaze, and... Helion, let's start. Quest completed. I only did the... Eventually. Yeah, apparently I completed the quest. I only did the three specific uh, runs. I thought I needed to upgrade something. Rams are better than people sometimes. These ones were decent, better than behemoths. They wouldn't thank you if they were here because they're rams and they can't talk, but I'm thanking you, so there. <laughs> uh, that new gear looks good. Should keep you alive and make some behemoths dead. Guess I'll keep training you if you keep not dying. So, yeah, it is apparently completed. Although I... Radiant Weapon 8 was not completed. But I've completed it anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess that's maybe a little, little bug. And we move on to the next one. Quests keep popping up, keeps me happy, keeps me busy. Always Hurry fun. Catherine Sorrell, so she's uh, not missing anymore. She's back in the city. Uh, Bright Shadows, speak to Cat, who figured uh, who re has returned from a covert scouting fight. Hunt Resikiri, Hunt Shroud, upgrade equipment. Hunt, upgrade and equip a weapon with 550 power or more. Upgrade equipment armor with a total of 550 resistance or more. So I think this is, or this might be the last quest actually, because, uh, yeah, until you can get level 15, I don't think you can get 550. I'm at 500 right now, and I was stuck behind the Behemoth Mastery level 25. Uh, so, except, hope you and Marcus did not worry too much. Rook, I had to chase a lead and needed you two here to keep Ramsgate in one piece while I was on the hunt. What? I don't live in the field anymore, but I'm still a slayer. Not a fool though, which is why I'm talking to you instead of instead of dead in an umbral void somewhere. I found them, you see. Two myths that have returned to stock my skies. Behemoths that shouldn't exist with impossible power I cannot I can't begin to understand. Shroud an umbral nightmare, Rezekiri, radiant and cruel. They're out there, slayer, and their numbers grow. They will test you, mark my words, so make damn sure you're prepared, you're hunting living legends. So yeah, this is definitely the last quest. Don't be a stranger. So yeah, I gotta hunt, uh, I gotta upgrade apparently. Uh, Pursuit, Radiant Behemoths. Oh, I need to fight, let's look at the quest. What does the quest set say? Hunt Rezekiri and Hunt Shroud and then upgrade uh, weapons and power. As you can see, I'm at uh, 400 mastery, no, loadouts. Uh, so my Boreal March have not, but yeah, the max I have right now is uh, I don't, I have the Dawnstar Barrel equipped instead of the, um, no, the Dawnstar Barrel is max as well. What's not max? Ah, the Snowdrift Prism is not max. So if I max out my gear right now, I'm at 500. So to actually upgrade all those parts to level 15, I'm going to need a lot of parts. And that kind of means that I'm going to need to cut it here and wait two and a half more hours approximate before I can get my hunts, uh, my hands on some uh, tokens Hello, that were taken from me. Uh, that way I can upgrade my gear. As you can see, Peerless Arc Stones to upgrade everything almost. Uh, Burial's March uh, not. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can get some... My hands on some peerless arc stones. Uh, maybe eventually we do have another quest, it seems. I see a question mark. That's always good. Where is this quest giver? All the way at the top. There we go. Look at that. Where, where are you, dude? Where are you? He's not here. Where the hell is he? Is it our gunsmith? Might be our gunsmith. Yeah, there we go. We got another quest. Ah, there you are. The Sovereign of Thrones of Thorns. Slay the powerful Kashai that brought Amaral's ice ships down. Hunt a Kashai 
heroic than shiny arc stones except there you are i have a very specific and critical job for you my rangers have spotted a remarkable strong and tenacious kashai tearing through the uh, swath of maelstrom's heart and not just any kashai this is the very creature i was hunting when my ship was brought down in the storm stranding me here for the time being the beast markings are quite distinct Avenge my ship slayer, the gratitude of Ostia should not be underestimated. Yeah, I kind of wonder now they remove the ship, but for newer players, if they accept this quest, will they actually get... Because uh, Xilia, the far slayer, was gone for a second while she set on a quest. So I'm kind of wondering now if the ship is going to crash for other players, are they going to be in a different uh, scenario while we are in right now? Until they actually uh, fix it back up. I'm not really sure what they're going to do. But yeah, uh, older players, if they have not seen the uh, the ship that crashed in here. Make sure to look at the uh, older uh, footage of mine. But yeah, I have three behemoths to uh, hunt. So I'm going to do that. And then I have to... Uh, then I'm going to wait. Uh, I'm going to eat. Basically, I haven't eaten yet. So I'm going to eat a little bit. And uh, wait till this evening. Till uh, I get my my free stones and see what I can uh, upgrade uh, before I can actually finish this quest. Right, Sovereign of Thrones completed. Well the Sovereign has fallen, repaid in full, yet we would be fools to assume this is the only Sovereign among the Koshai. Where there is one, there will be more. I have a feeling you will be ready. So hunt the Koshai, then shiny Arkstones complete. And that is it for the quests for now. So yeah, the only quest we have left is actually uh, Pursuit. I don't really think we need to pursue Shrouds right now. So we're going to do that and we're going to switch out our repeaters real quick. There we go. And Twilight, let's go to Unroll. And we're ready. Okay, so 10 minutes before it was 11, I thought, okay, let's log back in and let's see when they give us the message. Hey, I instantly checked. I got 4,000. <laughs> 4,000 dull arc stones. It's freaking incredible. I think a little more like 4,020, something like that. And then if you look at the uh, heroic marks, where are they? Come on, give me, a, give me a piece of gear. I still need to upgrade. So we got 4,450. Uh, I, I do believe I had 15 or something like that. So 4,400 and <laughs> a bit of shiny arc stones. That's around 400 runs that I got into GIMP. So yeah, uh, they are really, really generous. And this really means that every gear that I have I should be able to upgrade now all to max level 11 uh, and well yeah as we know now max uh, level is 15 but after level 15 we are gonna get the uh, peerless arc stones that we are gonna get from the heroic uh, patrol plus so yeah basically they saved me 800 runs of dire and heroic patrol uh, and basically left me with only heroic patrol plus uh, runs that I'm gonna have to do uh, which also means that I won't be able to because uh, I don't didn't get any of the peerless arc stones which is kind of understandable they are with the new patch they weren't here before our max gear back then was uh, 11 uh, level 10 anyway so yeah now that it's 15 uh, the farm to for the peerless is uh, kind of understandable Anyway, that also means that I cannot do this quest today. I am gonna fill my day with upgrading everything that I have and trying to get everything to 11 plus and then starting my... Um, well, I think I'm, I think at first I'm gonna go for the shroud ones, uh, the wear the armor ones, and after that it's gonna be peerless hunting to actually upgrade everything to level 15. Uh, not really sure when I'm gonna be able to bring back that, uh, the, bring you guys back for the quest, uh, for the quest that says that we need to have 550 uh, upgraded uh, weapons. I'm probably gonna try to do a repeater, uh, repeater four or five parts, try to get the 550 and then upgrade uh, the equipment armor. I'm probably gonna do the armor I'm uh, currently wearing now. Because it is uh, basically the main set I am using, my uh, repeater speed set. Um, so yeah, trying to get this one to 550 as, uh, 550 as well. 
Anyway, kind of hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. And I'll see you back with a new update or when I actually completed this quest. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.